so guys it's really simple so this is our default cube select the default cube press x and delete then shift plus a then add a text then select the text tap to edit mode then hit on backspace to delete the text now insert the text to one after you are done tap to object mode you can enable this rotation and movement indicator here then rotate it 90 degree now select the text again go to object data properties then under geometry we have extrude let's extrude the text then under bevel depth seems like we are done with this now click on the text right click convert to mesh now shift plus a again mesh then add a new cube tap to edit mode enable x-ray mode press 1 to vertex selection mode press 2 to edge selection select the upper edges right click subdivide don't forget about the x-ray mode or you will only select the first edge the second edge will not be selected now select the middle edge 1 to front view bring it down press 1 to vertex selection mode then enable this icon select the lower vertices then press S to scale then press X to scale only on X axis now press on number 0 or 0 to center and merge them by enabling this icon we will delete all of the duplicate vertices from our mesh now we can disable it press 2 to S selection now hold shift and left click and select these edges now control plus B to bevel now click on this setting button increase the segment to like 3 then increase the width a little bit to give it a hard size okay we are done now position it press 7 to top view S to scale press 1 to front view A to select everything so we are done with our text tap to object mode let's add the tree log so shift plus A mesh then cylinder tap to edit mode let's move the cylinder to the proper position press numpad 7 to top view S to scale so we are done with the positioning press S to scale then press Z to scale on Z axis tap to object mode select the lab first then hold shift and select the text then ctrl plus j to join them now they are on single layer text now select the text layer go to modifier tab then search for boolean modifier select the object cylinder change from difference to intersect now as you can see that our text have same bending as our woodlock see so now select the text click on this arrow then apply now our next step shift plus a let's add a cube let's go to extreme mode again then wireframe mode tap to edit mode let's give it same size as our text go to side do not give it more than press s to scale then scale on x axis press on x now control b to bevel let's bevel it press 3 to face selection press A to select everything right click subdivide subdivide it one time press A to select everything again F3 search for checker checker deselect alt plus E then extrude individual face press on preload key then individual origin now press on S then press on 0 single left click then another left click select everything let's move it upward now select the cylinder let's go to solid view out of extra mode now select the cylinder modifier tab boolean modifier then select the cactus or the cube let's hide the cube to see what we are having here so we need to move the cube a little bit inside select the cube let's move it hide it again 
seems like we need to increase the size of the cube let's unhide it select the cube press s to scale on x axis let's move it let's hide it again so guys now it seems like okay so let's select the cube then then click on this arrow and apply now we can delete the cube or hide it from render so our carving is done now add some texture on it so select the cube right click shade smooth everything gone go object data properties then click on this auto smooth so everything seems like kind of okay so select go to material tab then add a new material click on new let's give it name wood or whatever texture you want to give it go to shading tab these are the default shading nodes let's move it if there is nothing here you can select your material from here wood now click on add then search for image texture click on open and search for your texture i will use wood texture here so wood then connect the color to the base color when you are searching for the texture you better search for seamless texture it not seems like okay because we need another material let's add another material here let's name it let's name it carved area let's give it a light color so click on this base color then eyedropper then take a color from here then make it lighter now select the lock tap to edit mode press 7 for top view press 3 to face selection mode go to x-ray view then the wireframe view face selection mode now click on somewhere else and select everything from the front now press on 1 for front view now get out of x-ray mode again go to solid view disable x-ray mode now deselect the front areas so after your selection is done control plus G then assign to new group we can find the group name here it's just for backup so we don't need to select them again by this hideous process so go to material tab again it's already selected as you can see now select the carb area then click on assign now go to material preview now type to object mode let's change the text color so select the text then click on this plus icon then this material arrow then select the wood material now everything have wood material on it but this side area should have different material so for that tap to edit mode press 3 to face selection mode press 1 to front view click somewhere else hold shift and click on the front faces don't forget to disable the extra mode before that or you can accidentally select the behind faces so after you are done selecting the upper faces click on this select then invert now click on this plus icon again then click on this material tab and select the curve area now click on assign we are almost done let's give the wood some bumping for that select the wood material let's give it some space click on add then search for bump then connect the color output of the texture to the height and the height normal to the principal bsdf normal and change the strength to 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 click on this icon camera view view navigation work navigation now we can click here then go to world before that go to edit then preference then node wrangler nod node then enable this add-on then click on this background then control plus t now click on this environment texture this is just for easy lighting purpose now go where your blender is installed my blender is installed on c drive program file then blender foundation blender 3.0 3.0 data files then studio lights then world then select the light you want let's select sunset let's go to render preview let's let's change to cycle 
gpu 64 128 let's render and see that what we have so far if you don't like the lighting you can again search for another one like i have here forest or night now let's render it again so guys that's how easily we can carve anything on any object in blender so guys see you on the next tutorial